Hi everybody, welcome to Fireside with Spirit. My name is Heather Coleman, intuitive medium, spiritual coach, Reiki and energy work practitioner, yoga instructor. Ooh. And so welcome to our new night, Fireside Sunday. Uh, if you are on, say hello so that I know you're there, whether you are on live or the replay. I'm uh, pretty excited because as I was pre-selecting the cards for tonight, I noticed that we have a bit of a bouncy energy, we have a bit of a bouncy energy happening. And the deck that I felt called to draw from tonight is Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa DeCourt. Vanessa DeCourt is the author, the Sun and Moon Tarot. Fireside Sundays, I love our new night. I'm really actually very excited about this because I think there's a whole different energy to things now and a vibe. Um, and tonight, because people often ask me this, I am wearing Malachite in my ring. Malachite is for self-love and for making big changes in, in life. So if you are experiencing big changes or hoping to make big changes, Malachite is a great stone to have near you and to wear. Also, I'm wearing Strawberry Quartz. Strawberry Quartz also incredible for self-love and for creating more opportunities for love in your life. In fact, I'll try to move back so we can see the jewelry. <laughs> um, so keep watching for new learn videos, guys. There's a new one that comes out every Monday and tomorrow morning will be no exception. So keep your eyes open for that. And um, I'm gonna show you guys the cards now. So here is card number one. Here is card number two. And the purpose of this is for you to see where you are most drawn. Here is card number three. This week, my feel is that a lot of you are gonna be drawn to more than one card, might be two. And I encourage you to notice what are you drawn to the most strongly this week? Um, what'll often happen to me when I watch um, card draw videos is that I will Notice that I am drawn very strongly to one card and a bit to another card. In fact, interesting for clarification cards, I'm going to be pulling three. I about to say two, but the angels were like, no, three. From our Angel Prayers Oracle deck by Kyle Gray. There's our author, Kyle Gray. I hope you can see that. So I'm drawing those clarification cards while... Um, while I'm giving you all a minute to kind of join on or maybe feel into which cards of the one, two, and three resonated with you. So while I'm putting these cards together, I want to remind everybody that we have a circle coming up this Saturday, April 29th. My circles are hybrid, meaning you can attend virtually through Zoom or in person if you are local. You can go right to my website, heatherlcoleman.com, and you can find that registration link right from the homepage. When you register, just put in the instructions part of things, whether you want to attend in person or virtual, because once I have that clarification from you and receive your payment, I will let you know the instructions. Like if, you've, if you're doing in person, I'll make sure to send you the address. If you're doing virtual, I'll make sure to send you that Zoom link right away. So. Um, so once again, guys, that is Saturday, April 29th, a hybrid angel circle. And our theme is signs from your deceased loved ones and beyond. We are not limited to that theme, however. So don't worry if you've got other pressing questions on your mind, people you want to hear from on the other side, you name it. Do not worry. We're going to get to that. So um, once and once again, guys, if you're on, say hello tonight. Um, quick, quick intro message something I've really been doing lately. Take time to breathe. Make time for your guilty pleasures. Make time for them, you need them, okay? Um, that was just a message for everyone. I've been doing this and I'll tell you all, I am so much more relaxed and productive at the must-dos because I am making time for the, the pleasurable things, whatever that is, watching movies that I enjoy, um, whatever that is, talking to friends, whatever, you, you name it. Uh, so one more time, guys. In fact, I'm gonna hold up the pairing. So here's card number one with the clarification card. Actually, I'll put it here. Card number one and clarification card right here. Here is card number two and the clarification card that's gonna go with it. 
And here is card number three and the clarification card. So um, we are gonna get started right now with card number one. Fascinating, one of my favorite cards in tarot actually, and if, at least one of the ones I love for sure. Major Arcana 21, I had to look at my Roman numerals and think for a second. Major Arcana 21, the universe sometimes called the world. Now before we talk about the imagery on this card tonight, the sort of the, the the accepted meaning of this card is a reason to celebrate and congratulate yourself. Maybe you've successfully completed something. Maybe you are ending a phase of life successfully and ready to move on to the next step. And if so, that really, if you're drawn to card number one, that really is in line with what was coming through about this, about someone who is going through big changes and or looking to make big changes that malachite is a great stone um everything i say is guided even my jewelry i listen to the wisdom of spirit and the angels like even the jewelry i wear every day and for the videos what i what i'm guided to i should really say choose are stones that are really good for me right now and are going to hold meaning and messages for whoever is going to come across this video, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you are. So just keep in mind that there's a message in the stones. And again, we talked about moving through big changes and self-love with um, strawberry quartz and malachite as, as a great combination. Then the first thing we have with card number one is Major Arcana 21, the world or the universe. Now, in some decks, you'll actually have a, a visual that looks somewhat like planet Earth. Sometimes, often, often you'll have Archangel Michael for protection. And interesting that that comes up because if you look at all of these cards from the Angel Prayers Oracle, we've got the color blue for Archangel Michael and the sword, which is often something that we associate with Archangel Michael because of his sort of light that he uses to help us feel safe, to cut cords to unnecessary or no longer needed situations people and um thought patterns and so when we look at the meaning of the universe i again i call it the world but we call it both you know we're looking at a sense of accomplishment a sense of completion there might be some fear involved when we know we're ending one thing and entering another um, this card sometimes might come up for someone who is let's say graduating high school and going away to college, which is scary and exciting, right? All at the same time. So keep in mind that you get, that's a great example of graduating high school, going out to college for the first time, but life gives us these kinds of challenges often. In fact, every several years, I will have a dream about moving into a college dorm and what that dream represents for me is that I'm entering a new phase of learning in my life, a new challenge, something that's gonna um, create an opportunity for me to stretch and grow. So card number one, people, that would be your message that you are entering a new phase that is a beautiful opportunity for you to stretch and grow. Now let's take a look at the clarification card. I love this, the miracle of nature. I'm gonna read you the message Thank you, angels, for helping me to re reconnect through nature and fresh air. So that would be sort of the additional message is to get that time outside to help yourself, stay, help yourself stay grounded and balanced at this time. And let's look at first the imagery on the universe card. So again, we have that nice round, sort of like the circle of life or the completion of a circle. And we have someone dancing here, and I love that. And you'll notice it almost looks like their head is sort of coming off. <laughs> so if you feel like your head is sort of getting away from you or your mind and your heart are sort of disconnected, get out into nature to grow your roots deep to Mother Earth and to reconnect with nature and to get, literally to get grounded, to get centered. And now that the weather's nice up here in the Northeast, there's no reason not to, right? Um, all right, so card number two, 
were you drawn to card number two? We've actually got the cover artwork here. I'm gonna show you the cover of the deck again. And I knew this was gonna come up. There wasn't a lot coming through ahead of time. Now, some weeks, there'll be all this information flowing through that I know is gonna come up in Fireside. This was the one thing that I knew was gonna come up as soon as I saw this deck that I was drawn to it. This particular tarot deck, it, is for, in terms at least of how I use it, is the path of many lovers, okay? So card number two, people, your life path is the path of many lovers. Now, let's look at the Two of Cups, which in this card deck is titled Love. You know, again, cover art, you've got lovers just having a blast. They're floating on water, they're in a flower, they're under the moonlight, just loving on each other. And, you know, card number two people, maybe that doesn't always last for you. Quit blaming yourself. It's the way you wrote your life chart. <laughs> Eventually, you're going to find a great partner, but until then, try to just enjoy the ride, you know. Most people want to find the right one. Most people that are out there that are putting themselves out there to date want to find a great partner. And sometimes it just doesn't happen on our timetable. And if so, that's the path of many lovers. Try to enjoy it. Try to look at the joy and the laughter which each relationship brings to your life, no matter how brief. Um, if something ends, try to look back on at least one good memory that you're going to cherish from that relationship and, uh, and just keep in mind that it's your path, the path of many lovers. And again, I love that picture because these two young lovers just look so joyful and happy. Now for the deeper message or clarification card, I this piggybacks on what we just talked about, count your blessings. So, so sort of like looking for the, the positive aspects of having the path of many lovers, because again, if your path is to look for, for some time, you're kind of looking for the right person, that means trying some different people out. Maybe sometimes you think something's going to work out. It doesn't. Um, again, that message about looking for the blessings and all of that. And, you know, one thing that's nice about the path of many lovers is that you do get the chance to get to know um, more people, maybe in a different way than you would. If, let's say if you find the right person early in life and you're just in that relationship your whole life, you don't get that same opportunity in the same way to get to know so many new people along the way. Um, I am looking at this book. I turned it so I can read it. It says gratitude. Gratitude. So try keeping a gratitude journal, people. Um, card number two, people, if Maybe you're not finding what you want as quickly as you'd like. And again, that may have a lot to do with love, romantic love, companionship, whatever that might be. Could be about your work life too, or just your life in general, but whatever the case, try keeping a gratitude journal. And the reason is one, it will help get you into a positive mindset, which is just a more pleasant way to live. It's just a better way to feel, period. You'll just feel better. But also an equally important, a gratitude journal will help you to manifest more of the good and bring blessings into your life. So counting your blessings magnifies your blessings. And finally, I'm gonna read you the affirmation on here. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. And finally, card number three, from our Sun and Moon Tarot by Vanessa DeCourt. Card number three is the lover's card. Look at that. And I, I didn't know what this was. <laughs> Again, the path of many lovers. So I get the sense that there are many of you that are going to be drawn to cards two and three pretty strongly. Some of you are going to feel cards number one and three very strongly. So let's talk about the lover's card, which I'm going to be very authentic and transparent with you all. This is one of the tougher cards for me like all the years I've been reading tarot and I've been told by a lot of people that I'm really good at reading tarot. Um, this is like the one card that I still feel as if I only understand half the meaning of it. Isn't that interesting? Major Arcana six, the lovers. And the reason is that tarot is a story and people that are on this path for life I think a lot of you will relate to this, or a lot of people I've met have been able to relate to this. I feel like as I live life and work with spirit and do tarot readings, throughout every phase of my life, 
I will gain a deeper and deeper understanding of the tarot cards like the five of pentacles for me or for a lot of people I was reading for seven years ago meant generally a certain set of things. It hasn't changed meaning, but when I draw that card now for myself or others, it has a slightly different meaning or there might be less of an amplification to what that card is saying, for example. So at any rate, guys, the lover's card for me, when, Amy, good to see you, how are you? When I have drawn this card for myself and for others, generally what the meaning has um, meant was someone coming into your life who kind of sweeps you off your feet and you think it's a good beginning of a beautiful friendship or romantic and generally it's it's not it's sort of like it's just a little boost you know kind of a little so, sometimes a short but really fun romantic affair or hanging out with a friend who's only in town for a week something like that will just give you a, a, a uplift of energy and enthusiasm and it kind of gives you new ideas the same way that traveling going to a whole new country for a week will shake up your belief system, get you out of your your um, habitual ways of thinking, right? Get you out of your shell, out of your comfort zone. So um, card number three, people, this can be about a romantic situation, uh, can also be about something that is not romantic, maybe a brief job or a brief situation or hanging out with a friend or friends for just a short time. People. Um, Again, most often for me and for people when I pull this for others, it usually has to do with something, someone who's coming into your life just for a brief time. And again, similar to the messages we had with card number two, the path of many lovers and counting the blessings in that, we would have a very similar message when we talk about major arcana six, the lovers. If this is a, a person situation or both that's in your life for a short time, rather than more the fact that it doesn't last forever, Maybe look at how did this change me? How did this inspire me? And how did I grow from this? And keep in mind that these little plot points in our lives, these brief flings, these these um, short situations, whatever they are, are all part of the bigger, bigger plan. And they're preparing us for something better. So card number three, people, if you have had a recent new person, relationship, or situation that didn't quite go as you hoped, or maybe you thought it was going to lead to something longer, bigger, better, and it didn't, maybe it's preparing you for what you thought that situation was. And I hope this makes sense. Um, so let me paraphrase that. If you've had a uh, someone you dated and it just didn't work out the way you thought, Maybe it's preparing you for the next situation coming along that it is going to work out exactly the way you want. Uh, and let's pull that clarification card or that deeper message card. Peace and harmony. I love that. Archangel Raguel. Peace is like no conflict at all. Everyone just at peace. Harmony is different elements being able to sort of come together. Like when you think about harmony music, two-part harmony, five-part harmony, you can hear the different voices, but they all blend together. So I love this card of peace and harmony because, see, that's what we're looking for. Let me make sure we can see that. It's kind of a light-colored card. We're looking for both in a relationship, a situation, a job. So card number three, people, if you've had a person or situation come into your life, that was in and out quickly, maybe it's because it wasn't gonna give you peace and harmony. Maybe it's preparing you for the right person or situation or both that is gonna give you both peace and harmony, where you can be at peace with the disparate elements, the different voices that come into that relationship and that situation. That's what we're looking for. We're not looking for pretending we're the same. We are never gonna be the same as another person. The successful relationships are the ones where both people can come to the plate and say, well, this is who I am. This is how I feel. This is what I want. The other person can say, great, I see you, I hear you, I feel you, and here's who I am. Here's what I want. And both people can do that and make harmony with their differences and find a way to be at peace. So that's what we're looking for. 
And if it takes the path of many lovers to get there, then so be it, right? Beautiful message. All right, guys, so just one more time, a couple things. Um, if any of you that signed on a little late were curious, this is Malachite, one of my favorite stones. Great for self-love, for moving mountains, for getting the weeds out of your out of the way in your life, getting any any blockages within you out of your own way, being assertive, standing up, setting boundaries. Great stone for that. And then strawberry quartz, strawberry quartz. Um, this coming Saturday, April 29th, 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock p.m., Hybrid Angel Circle. Uh, go to my website, heatherlcoleman.com, to register. When you register, just put in the special instructions whether you want the online or the in-person, and then I will send you either that Zoom link or the address. So until then, everyone, I hope you all have a beautiful night, a great week. I hope you got something helpful from our cards this week. Namaste.